Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated banners from Figma to HTML for the AdForm platform. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is go to the Figma uh, icon in the top left uh, because we want to install a plugin called Bannerify. So if we click on this little Figma icon and if you go to community and then click on the search field and type in the phrase Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and then click on the plugins tab and you'll see a result come up that says Bannerify HTML exporter. Uh, and on the right hand side you'll see a button that says install uh, or it will say installed if you've already got it installed uh, like mine does. But if you just see a button that says install over here uh, you can click on that and then it'll look uh, like mine with a little check mark on it once that's ready to go. And if you click into the plugin name, uh, just to jump into the description, uh, we can see down here in the additional notes section, uh, when you, once you scroll down, that we've got this little URL here. And if you copy paste that URL into your web browser, you'll be able to duplicate the file that we're going to be using in this tutorial and that's just going to make it a bit easier to follow along uh, if you don't already have a set of banners designed. Um, but feel free to use your own if you do. Okay, so now that we've installed the plugin, we can go back to our project and we're just going to run the plugin by right-clicking anywhere, going down to plugins, and then clicking on Bannerify HTML exporter. And this is just going to open up the plugin that we just installed. And you can see that it's loaded in all of our banners from the Figma file. And uh, you'll notice that they've also got these little animations applied to them already um, when I click this little play button. Um, so this tutorial is not going to cover how to add these animations or how to control the timelines. Uh, if you're interested in that, we do have another tutorial on the YouTube channel, on the Figmatic YouTube channel, that you can check out. It goes for about 40 minutes and it covers all of those things in depth. Um, but for today, we're just going to be looking at how to export uh, banners that you've already got uh, designed and already got animated. Uh, we're just going to figure out how to export those to HTML for the AdForm platform. And to start off with, we just need to click on the export banners to HTML button in the top right. So I'm just going to click on that now. And uh, you can see we've got a few different ex export options, but for today, I'm just going to be focused on the code output settings. Um, so underneath where it says export format and platform, uh, you can click on that drop down, and that's going to open up a list of options for us. And in the second section down here, that's called advertising platforms, uh, we can see there's a whole bunch of options, but the one that we want to select uh, is closer to the bottom and it's the add form uh, option. So if we click on add form, that's now selected the platform for us, uh, which means that we're ready to go with exporting. So to export to from Figma to HTML for add form, uh, all you need to do is click on the export banners button in the bottom right down here. So I'm just going to do that now. And this is going to generate all of the code that we need and all of the images that we need uh, into a zip file for all of our banners. And I'm just going to use the default naming convention in our save dialog here and click on save. Then I'm going to go to my desktop and double click on the zip file. And once that unzips, we can click on the folder and you'll see here that it's exported all of our banners from Figma uh, to HTML and uh, to get a sense of what that looks like all in one snapshot, we can double click on the index.html file that comes with the folder uh, in the root here. And I'm just gonna double click on that to open it up in the browser. Okay, so I've just loaded that up in the browser and you can see here that all of the banners have been exported as we'd expect. Um, they've all got the animations on them. I can replay those animations with this little play button if I wanna do that. Um, but everything's looking really good uh, and as, as we'd expect. Um, so to get an idea of what was actually exported from Bannerify for AdForm, uh, we can open up one of these banners in our code editor. So I'm just going to do that now. 
Uh, I'm just going to drag the medium rectangle into Visual Studio Code. Um, you can use whatever code editor you like. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use Visual Studio. And I'm also going to uh, open up the MREC medium rectangle banner in the browser so we can have a look at which one we're looking at. Um, so you can see here, these are all the files that get exported from Bannerify uh, when we export from Figma to HTML. Uh, in this case, we're doing it for ad form. So you can see uh, right up the top, it's including the script file from the ad form uh, domain. So we've got a script file from adform.net and it's the adform.dhtml.js file. And that's a required file that any banner is being uploaded for ad form uh, needs. So that gets included automatically. We've also got our metadata up here that gets automatically included. Um, these are all of the images that we need to render out the HTML for our banner. And we've also got a little JS file down here. And we can open these up. So we've got the JS file. Uh, you can see down here that there's some specific code for ad form. So we've got this little click tag variable. Uh, it's dhtml.getvar function. So that's coming coming from the uh, ad form library. And don't worry too much about this example.com URL. Uh, when you upload these banners to ad form, it's going to give you the option to specify where you want the click tag to go. So this is purely just a placeholder um, that'll get swapped out in real time uh, when you do upload these banners into ad form. And then we've just got a little click tag event that um, that's going to open up the the uh, the click tag when you click on the banner inside of the browser for ad form. So all of the JavaScript's written for you. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, that's all taken care of. And we've also got this little file that ad form requires as well, which is the manifest.json. So Bannerify is automatically exporting this from Figma uh, into the the banners. So we've got this manifest.json and when you upload this banner into ad form, it's going to read the contents of this file and that's going to give it some information that uh, it requires. So things like the width and the height uh, and the title and where the entry point for the banner is and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that all gets included for you. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then of course, we've got the images folder as well. So this includes SVGs for the text layers to keep them nice and sharp. Uh, the PNG for the button and the JPEG for the background. So that's all of the files you need. You get you get all those files for each of your banners. Uh, all of the HTML is generated from the Figma plugin. And yeah, you don't need to be a developer or even jump into the code editor. I just wanted to show you uh, what that was generating in case that was of interest. So if we jump back into Figma, uh, as you can see, the message is telling us it's all done. It's ready to be uploaded. Uh, so there's there's no more steps. That's that's all you have to do. As as you can see, it, it only took a few seconds to export um, from Figma to HTML. Uh, in this case, for ad form, so it's it's extremely quick, and that just means you can keep re re exporting this if you have changes or if you want to uh, try out different versions or have different campaigns. You can just export it really quickly from Bannerify, and it'll be ready to go uh, from Figma into HTML in a few seconds. Um, so yeah, I hope this has been helpful for anyone wondering how to uh, export banners from Figma for ad form. Uh, this is the way you can do it using the Bannerify plugin. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back with more tutorials just like this uh, very soon.